The turn indicator is a gyroscopic instrument and works off the principle of precession. This is the turn and slip indicator's front face. You can see the turn rate scale, the pointer, the slip indicator and the off flag. Here you can see the data plate and the electrical connector on the back side of the indicator. With the cover removed, we can see the off flag linkage, the gyro motor stator, the gyro rotor, the power cords, the power connector and the gimbal. The off flag lifter and the gyro motor brush are shown here. In this picture you can see the three axes around which the airplane is turning. We will see during the operation demonstration what is the effect for moving around each one of them. The operation of the slip indicator is completely independent of the gyro. The slip indicator is a ball inside a glass tube filled with some kind of damping fluid. The ball position is a resultant of gravity and centrifugal forces. In order to perform a coordinated turn, we have to keep the ball at the center of the slip indicator. The turn indicator incorporates a ray gyro which means that the gimbal is restrained by a spring. The spring will return the gimbal to null position when the reason of deflection does not exist. The turn rate pointer is linked directly to the gimbal via a motion reversing gear set. So any movement of the gimbal is translated to pointer movement. With the gyro powered and operating in normal speed, we will rotate the indicator around all three axes to see the reaction of the gyro in every case. So, as you can see here, turning the indicator around the longitudinal axis, nothing happens and the pointer remains centered or no turn indication. This movement corresponds to the airplane banking. If we move the indicator around the lateral axis, the gyro will not react again, as there is no any turn, and this movement corresponds to airplane pitch changing or climb and dive. But if we move the indicator around the vertical axis, which corresponds to airplane yaw or heading changing, the gyro reacts immediately, moving the pointer in proportion with the turn rate. In this close-up shooting, you can see the rapid reaction of the gyro gimbal when you move the indicator around the vertical axis. Rate gyros, together with accelerometers, are the main sensors of the autopilot systems, although mechanical gyros are not in use anymore as they have been replaced by laser gyros 
or lately by solid-state gyros.